Hi everyone, today's video is a makeup tutorial on this 90s supermodel inspired look, so let's get started. I've already primed my face with Laura Mercier's Pure Canvas Perfecting Primer and Urban Decay's Primer Potion, which isn't my favorite, but it gets the job done. For my base, I'm going to use M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion. As you can see, it's very much used and loved. It's hydrating and illuminating. I need a little bit more coverage, so I'm using this concealer on my under eyes and blemishes and using the cushion puff to blend that in. Now I'm just setting everything with light powder to keep the base from moving around too much. Then quickly filling in my brows with Anastasia Dip Brow. For the eyes, I'm using House Labs Fame Palette. I'm taking the lighter brown shade and applying that very liberally over my eye socket area in sweeping motions. And in the outer corner, I'm going to create a V shape that extends pretty far out. I'm also going to take the shade down my nose and use it as my contour. You can skip this step if the shade isn't a good match for your skin tone. I'm also going to apply the shade all over my lower lash line, making sure it connects in the outer corners. Then I'm going to take the darker brown shade in the palette and apply it to the outer corners only in that same V shape. I'm also going to apply this to the outer half of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the black shade in the palette on a winged liner brush and start to draw a thin winged line. Then I'm going to draw a graphic line over my eye socket area. And if you're not sure how or where to draw yours, I'll put some links in the info card to my other tutorials. I realized the front of my graphic line went a bit too low, so I'm using a Q-tip and some eye primer to reshape it. You want to go for a flatter line rather than curved. Then I'm going to start shading in from the outer corner to smoke out the eye look and create a gradient. Now I'm just going to repeat on the other eye. I'm also going to line the lower lash line with a black shadow, but instead of following the curve, I'm going to flatten it out as I go towards the inner eye, so there's a little bit of space there. It kind of mirrors the top line in a way. And in that space, I'm going to apply this shimmery gold shade. It actually has some red tones in it or red glitter specks. I might have preferred if it was just gold or just silver, but it still works for this look. With a black pencil liner, I'm going to line the bottom waterline, but only in the outer half of the eyes. This is going to help close that gap of space and make the look more polished. With the same concealer and a flat brush, I'm going to clean up that outer V-shape so it creates a really sharp wing. I also like to use my fingers to blend out the edges so it fades into my foundation. You can also use the brush in light tapping motions. For my falsies, I'm using Ardell Wispies. I think these lashes provide the perfect balance for this dramatic eye look. For contour, I'm mixing these two shades and applying it very liberally over my face so that it's pretty blended and seamless with the foundation. For blush, I'm using Vintage Love from Lawless Beauty, but I'm applying it very lightly because I don't want it to be too prominent. Then I'm just going to apply some highlight. For lip color, I went with the classic Velvet Teddy from MAC. I thought it was the perfect color for this. I also popped on the Spanish Grey Contacts from Olens to really make this a transformation. And here is the completed look. I love how it turned out and I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!